Hi everyone, Joe, Jamie, JJ Paranormal Footprint to here. Tonight we're here at the St. Patrick's uh, Cemetery in Motherwell, um, along with our members, uh, our colleagues from um, Project Paranormal. We will be starting off here at the mausoleum, as you can see, where George Hamilton and Sybil Hamilton were buried, and that's basically the, the, the gravestones there. Um, we were doing a 40 minute session here, and David and Karen from Project Paranormal will be doing a 40 minute session inside the graveyard. So what we'll do is we'll take a wee walk around inside the mausoleum where we're going to start off with our PSB 11 session. Uh, so we'll just follow Jamie through into the mausoleum. <laughs>
you tell us your name, please? Is there anyone here in the golf course use our energy to try and communicate with us, please? Is there anyone here called Sybil? Sybil? Seriously? There's Sybil. Who that is? Oh, wow. Well, there you go. There you go. Sybil. The house is proper. Sybil? There you go. Okay, so we've got Sybil. Sybil. Is there anyone else here with you? Is there a George here? Can you, can you tell us where we are? Great, great. Okay, then so far we've got some giggles. A confirmation of a name, confirmation of a name, and we've asked where we are and we've said to you. That's some good catches so far. Got something up there, can we? Can you tell us how you died? Right, just to confirm, so far we've asked questions, um, we've asked who's been here with us, and we've got the word, the name Sybil, and we've asked, can you tell us where we are, or where we are, and they've said grave. We've also had the sound of our children's laughter, um, so that's the three catches we've got, we've only been doing this five, ten minutes. Set of stairs, the way they actually sat. Hopefully, it'll come out the side soon. So, we get around here into the dark. Into the dark, Jamie. Exactly where we like to be. That's it, aye. It's getting nice and dark now. Stairs that takes us up. We've been there. Can you know, so he's obviously he just sat here. You know like that. <coughs> On a wee chair. And he looked over and seen his wife. Make sure. Right, we'll do ten minutes here because we said we'd be back around there for about half nine. We can do the graveyard. So we'll do a we'll do a wee spirit box here, mate. Hi. Not 
So here we are inside his free gazebo, he to build so he could look over uh, and keep an eye on his wife's grave. We'll do a wee spirit box session here and see what we get. George, we're, we're, we're actually, we're currently standing inside your gazebo that you built to look over your wife's grave when she died. If you're here, can you communicate with us? George, are you here? Can you tell us, was this your favourite place? Did you come here on a daily basis? inside your gazebo. Uh, if you're here, can you try and communicate with us? Can you tell me? Just what, what I'm holding in my hand? What colour is the item I'm holding in my hand? Can you tell me what I'm holding in my hand, George, or anyone that's here? How often did you come to this place, George? Was it several times a day? Was it once a day? Can you tell us? Do you like us being in your gazebo? Do you like us standing where you used to stand? We don't seem to be getting much ever since the subject to start there. I did not have said ever anything that was definitely. Alright, just a little simple. And it's not really something that would that would never come over radio. No. Why would that come over radio? It's not really that would be any, is it? No. And I said it was just, it was so clear it was in between the white noise that was in there. Sybil, did you did you speak to us earlier when we first came here? Is that you, Sybil? They told us your name. Or Sybil or George or anyone else is here, can you try and communicate with us? We mean you no harm and we have all the respect in the world for you. We just want to communicate. We want you to try and communicate with us. That's why we've came here, to try and speak to you. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate with us? So this is us within uh, St. Patrick's graveyard. Uh, and Mother will, so we'll, now, we'll now do a PSB 11 session here. Um, I'm just mindful, I don't like to be speaking too loud because David and Karen for Project Paranormal are over the other side and obviously as it gets darker and later, sound travels so I need to be mindful of the fact that they're over there so we'll try and we'll concentrate on this end of the graveyard um, and I think David and Karen will be calling at a day about 10 o'clock 
and then that's when Jamie and I will start a Facebook Live. So we'll concentrate down this end of the graveyard and we'll do a PSB 11 session and see if we can get any positive feed here. And hopefully David and Karen have stirred up enough energy and we can in. Um, hopefully we'll get something positive. So, here we go. <coughs> what you've got to actually turn that off. Well, I know. Hey, look, just so I can uh, zoom in on it, mate. Look, why you help me? Right, just put it down a wee bit. The, the, oh, it's on it. Right, so there you go, that's the pitch up that's on the grave, which we will replace. We mean no disrespect, we're taking it off. I'll read, I'll read what, uh, uh, what it says on it. Um, so, it says, Lieutenant William Bill Bailey, Royal Air Force, 49th Wing, H2, born the 16th of April, 1891. 29 Melville Drive, Motherwell is where he, where he stayed. Died the 6th of April 1919 of wounds at the age of 27 at, Ar at the Queen Alexandra Military Hospital in London. Son of Daniel and Marion, grandson of William and Marion, also buried here. So that's him there. If you can see it there, that's him there. And, uh, We'll just get a quick picture of it and replace it. Like I say, we mean absolutely no disrespect. Disrespect to a friend. Do you know what's funny? Mm. Camel was found in the focus sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's... I'll we'll put this back in a bit. If we put this on to our website and our existing family members might see it, it's a, it's a nice um, wee tribute to what was clearly a very brave man. So, total disrespect, uh, total, uh, absolutely no disrespect at all, but total respect for about the serving his country, so, yeah. And nice of to put that information here as well, because you see that that's... Yeah. So it's made to be one of them now. So we'll give this a wee clean before we put it back, so it's... Uh, There you go, nice and clean, and we'll replace it back on the way we found it. Um, so, yeah. Um, we've done a wee session earlier on over at the mausoleum up there, um, and we've asked some certain questions. We've got what appears to be either children laughing or singing, we're not too sure, and we've got the name Sybil coming through. Definitely. Um, definitely simple, Jamie. I think that's what it said as well, is obviously the PSB 11, which is the radio box. Your, your hope is that the pick bits of the radio station will make a sentence, but the main, plot, the main point is it's that you should hear it between the white noise, and the civil came through, it's simple, between the white noise, so I'd say that's definitely the best. Between that and the ovular cell, but I'm not an accent. <clears throat> yes. Um, so just run us through what happened with the obvious, Jamie. Right, so he was up there saying why he was through your paranormal friends and did you have the obvious going? No, there's the issues you would agree. There's not been a lot of a lot of anything happened since we got here. So he was up there and asking the questions, asking the questions. And now you're in every boom, ten lights. And the most menacing yes you have ever heard. And as soon as you shout and join and everybody come and check, the activity just dies. Okay, so it's really interesting, that. Right? So was it, was it like a yes or a... That was like a... It like was a deep like, voice. But pardon the pun, it's a good person in the arse, they asking questions, sort of yes. Right, okay. That was some... Okay. Well, we'll get the tendency to annoy people. We're, yeah, we're, that's how we do it. We're, we're, we annoy people up at the, uh, the Canvas Neck and Kirkyard when we're trying to be nice. So we we don't, we don't, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't mean to be disrespectful. No, not at all, not at all. Um, sometimes we get angry voices coming through. So, well, what we'll do is we'll, yeah, cut, well, we'll, 
give it another 10 minutes, Connie. We might be the ones running out here scared, so. Um, <laughs> who knows, yeah? Kidding on my brave here and all that, because we've we'll got torches. As soon as we hear a noise, we'll probably be out here. No, we've got the kit right enough, because it's, uh, it's quite an expensive kit we've brought, so. Uh, what we'll do it right over now. We'll let. Uh, We'll crack on and get on with what we're meant to be here to do. Check out dark it's going to last five minutes, so it's, it's ridiculously dark now, so as you can imagine, we're in a, a 17th century graveyard in the middle of an area. It's very focusy focusy. Yeah. You know, so. Now we'll get the PSB 11 started before it gets any darker, so it's still. That's it, that's a little bit of dark in heaven, isn't it? Yeah, it's. I don't know It's not this thing, it's a kettle wood. You know it's all the buds are still coming. <laughs> Sorry if this is a little bit loud, people just have it set up. So we'll do what we usually do, we'll, we'll run an AM uh, in reverse, sorry, at 250. Just block. No, no. What's that? Um, I'm going to try it again. 
um, and we will try and reverse as normal at 250. So, <coughs> so is there anybody here with us at all? Mm -hmm. We're going to try FM, there was too much music. This is obviously isn't as much a forested area as before, there must be a lot of houses nearby. So is there anybody here with us at all? Is there anyone here with us? Anyone at all? Because we need to show you to open it up. Is there somebody here with me? For somebody here to answer the questions, could you speak into that? Don't know here to harm you. We're just going to speak to you. Just to see what's there after the pass. We've got a conversation with you. Thank 
you so then if you use my debates and energy, let me know if you're here. Choose a wop, any wop. Is it in the DJ watches? Come on, do the shy. Is it in the DJ? and a half there, people. Is there anybody there? Yes. That's how it was answered. Did you see, see, see the bars over right here? That went fully red. Fully red. That was chills, people. I'm not a guy that gets chills often, but that was chills.
Um, David said he got to the big three stone up at the top there. I could try that maybe by the time. Did he then say that you know, he, he told us, but what, I'm not going to tell you the number because uh, that way, if anything does happen, it just has a bit more credibility of you experiencing something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, is that Jeff? Is that... What did you do? Joe. Oh. <laughs> Last one's for you, mate. Did you just say my name? Right, I'm Joe and that's Jamie. Can, what my name is, would you prefer to talk to? Would you like to talk to me? Or would you like to talk to Jamie? Who would you like to speak to? Sybil came through, um, and we were standing right next to Sybil's grave. Uh, uh, Lady Sybil Hamilton. Um, have we got a name, Myra? We need a name, pal. If you've got a name, um, well, I just heard a, I just heard a woman's voice. I just heard a woman's voice from over there. 
how much the units look. And again, guys, there's no video for this. Okay, so I'm going to let this become a very sticky place. Yeah. See how it is. Okay, should we get us started? Uh, Just in case. What's going on, Cathy, is we're at the St. Patrick's Cemetery in Motherwell and we're doing a paranormal investigation. So, and um, things are starting to happen a wee bit here. We've definitely heard a woman's voice over there, over the, the left corner of this over there, the cemetery. Down there, down at the corner, see? Don't left. I don't know left. Um, I couldn't even say that I checked the guest names. Mm -hmm. So we'll certainly ask if somebody's died in a fire line, no problem. As soon as we get the PSB 11 session started again. Got the proof in the start then? Definitely, I'm going to go on the floor. I've got people down for a bit here, so we could have been somebody in the back and it just sounded as if they came from over there. Ah, so you could get that room and then you could be shouting and casting me. But it's easy to explain. Noise travels, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to go Jamie explain exactly what he's doing again for the ones that have just joined us. Yeah, so again, uh, so again, people, if you've tuned into our previous videos, uh, run on AM in reverse at 250 minutes per, uh, minutes per second, I'm sorry. So, let's just see. So, is there anybody here? Just so we're getting this right, is it Paul McInley? Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Paul McInley? Or is it McKinley? Is that meant to say McKinley? Paul McKinley? Is that the shoe or something? Is there anyone, is there anyone want to communicate? By the name of David. Okay, well, thanks, yeah. No problem. We'll certainly ask the questions. We're looking for somebody in email, wasn't it? Is there anyone named David, John, or Elizabeth with us? Did anyone die in a fire? Is there anyone with us that, that met her end in a fire? Me? Me. Did you get that? Me, yeah. Oh. Did you hear about that? He's a big great torch. It's on here. Sorry. So, so he's going to come check. Ah, where are you going for me, eh? Yeah. Where you going, Fibby? Stay here with him. I'll just check you so you can stay there. Oh, 
I've done it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a ship boat. Thank you. 